Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's actually a couple days later since the last little bit of the recording because of the server problems I had to partially delay and separate in half this review video for Squall. So before we get to the showcase, uh, I have kind of lost my train of thought. So I'm just going to be showing you really quickly. So if you remember, here was our Squall. This is what his current stats are, 1,542 attack. Now, I do want to make mention that he is with Diablos right now. So, if we were to switch over Ifrit, 1,600, a little bit more attack. So, we want him to be in his best shape for this showcase. So, we are now going to proceed with showing off a lot of his moves. And we will also be changing the music. much better. Alright, so Squall is primarily a damage dealer, and we have him set up to be a high attack. So, first off, let's show off his first move. 24 MP, single target. Not bad. Just gonna lower the volume a little bit, because that's probably a little... 638,000 for one of his lower MP attacks. Now, we're actually going to show off his second move, Faded Circle. Now, for an area of effect to hit, uh, make sure we get that done, ends up doing about a million points of damage. Oh, a million and some change. Not bad for an AoE attack, and not even his best one. His better one is Blasting Zone, so let's take a look at that. Which actually did less damage, partially just because of variance. Remember that his variance can be anywhere from 1 times to 1.6 times, so it does make him a little bit hard to compare moves. Obviously his last one got way better than his previous one. Let's do it one more time. See, 1.21 million. So the variance can end up changing quite a bit of how much damage he actually does. Also, before we continue and show his best move, I also would like to note that in these four turns, he has actually almost gained his entire limit first. That's important. And again, depending on who you have actually equipped at the time, it can greatly vary how much damage his output actually is. For instance, right now during the Final Fantasy VIII event, having Diablos helps against humans and demons, meaning he can do a lot more damage. So we'll head right back in to show off the rest of his moves and his limit burst. So we'll show off two of these. All of these moves are essentially the same though, so there isn't too, too much to show. As you can see, we get the Imperil and it does some damage. Not bad. And a nice thing that is actually flexible about Squall, we seem to be hovering around 1.2 million for everything we do. His actual double cast of abilities is a wide range of things, from all four types of his elemental debuffs to all of these moves, meaning that we can actually get a lot more damage. Okay, the damage numbers are going to be a little bit of skew just because Sephiroth decided to join. But around 3 million points of damage. Not bad. Now... Oh, we can't use it just quite yet, so we're actually just going to take this turn off. Zero damage. That's how much Squall can do when he is in defense mode. I could have shown off this. Now, his 60 MP, now if you remember correctly, this will give him a full limit burst gauge as well as HP recovery and 
pretty much half of his MP. It is a great recharge for him, kind of like how Sephiroth can actually recharge his. Difference is, Sephiroth actually gets an elemental uh, imbune on his attack. So, now we get the best for last. Well, almost last. His Limit Burst. So by himself, he did four and a half million points of damage. Now that was without any chaining or any bonuses to him. But let's actually try a little bit better than what we've been doing. So for the last few times that we've done this, we actually have not used any buffing to him. So we'll give him a little bit of a buff. So that now, if we were to look at him... Come on. A little bit of a strength increase. Ayaka is not the best booster, but... His damage considerably ramps really, really fastly. So now we will use it in part with chaining. And the nice thing about, nice thing, ugh, about Squall is that he is very, very quick to act. So if we do this, it actually change, chains very, very nicely together with the Orlando and Sephiroth combo, or Orlando and Orlando. Basically, he can get it off very, very quickly. We will try it one more time. Since we can't do that just quite yet. That time it only single cast. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. So let's make sure we give him... And I'll show you one of the major problems I have with Squall. Chaining his actual limit burst. Now, don't get me wrong, this is still really, really good. It's just, well... The real problem that I have is that Squall's limit burst is so long that it actually makes it really hard to time when you should do it to get it in the end. So we're going to start right here. Problem is, is with just how long it actually is, it's very, very easy to miss the final hit. You have to start it so late and it takes a lot of practice to time. But around 20 million in HP damage is really, really good. Not bad for five turns, where some of the turns we just weren't doing anything. So let's switch back over and just have a closing wrap-up talk about Squall. So what do I actually think of Squall? Well, for the first true seven-star unit, it's hard to say that Squall isn't missing some of the things that really take true dual hand to the next level. He definitely does have the, some of the improvements that true dual hands need, mainly in his double cast ability, which is one of the things that they really these units really do need. The other problem is that there just isn't that much materia and accessories yet for true dual hand units. Elfried is the only one who has a really good accessory, and one unit, trying to get that one unit out of the massive pool of five star units, either with EX tickets or just luck, is low and it's not dependable. As for Materia, there's either Cloud, or now there is Now or Naru. And both of those, again, are attached to 5-star units. It's really, really hard to recommend and to build these units as good as they can be when so much of their potential is behind getting other 5-star units.
The other thing is that Squall is definitely made for his TMR. There is no question that the Lionheart is the best weapon you can get for him. But again, there is no element and he has no element to give himself yet. Now in the future, it could be that Squall's Super TMR will fix a lot to do with his unit, possibly give him killer abilities, or give him a, some way to choose an actual element. Again, we don't know what Super TMRs are, but it would kind of stand to reason that if they were the first units to get brand new Super TMRs on a banner that would be really easy to get multiple copies of Squall or Renoa, I have still the feeling that Super TMRs were a big part of how good these units could actually be. Again, this is all speculation until we actually get to see Super TMRs and find out how good they are. And that doesn't feel quite so good right now. But still, Squall is a very good unit. He is a great option. He is a fantastic limit break. And considering what we showed, my Squall still isn't maxed. He can still be a little bit better. And he definitely, my Squall, has a lot of room for improvement in materials if I ever am so lucky. At this point, I would want a second L freed more than I would want a Cloud. Although I would take a cloud, I would take a cloud for sure. So yes, I actually quite like Squall. I hope that in the future his Super TMR does fix a lot of the problems with him, but he is definitely a great chain finisher and he can deal out a lot of damage. And I know this is true because I've taken him into some of the 10 man trials where he can take 30% of some of those bosses HPs just by double casting his 52 MP ability. So yeah, everyone, that is my look at Squall. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this helpful. GL players, maybe this will tell you whether he's worth saving or what to prioritize to get for him. But for now, I definitely think he is one of my favorite units, just personally, with Renault being just a little bit better. Anyway. So I will see you all in the next video for whatever unit I am reviewing next. Though, to be honest, I think it's going to be a certain bard. Anyway, till then.